Uh, audio, one, two, one, two. How are we feeling? Let's see. Hope everything's okay. Sounds alright to me. Probably need to adjust some of the again. Son of a f How's it going, Demon? <laughs> oh, I know you're an ad hell. Um. We'll do that. Message speed. Fast. I don't know what these do, but... Okay. Oh no, two ads. I, I, I don't know what I <laughs> Uh, the old double wiki. How's it going, Damon? I take it that means you're out of ad hell. There's the first. Yeah, the, the first one. The first one got me. The second one. The second one also. Uh, uh, uh expected. Kinda. <laughs> Yeah, glad you're doing well. Hope uh, hope Sunday's treating you okay. Uh, let's see what this is about. I know little to nothing outside of. I'm, I'm really trying to think what I uh, what I have seen of this, and it's pretty much the occasional like just image online from the past twelve years, maybe. So I have I've absolute clueless. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's all good. I don't expect people to be here for every stream. That's just completely uh completely unreasonable, impossible. So it's all good. Uh if you the chat room, won't open it, yeah. Sachi is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. I don't think she... What? I that that I couldn't read that. <laughs> but I still love her with all my heart. Okay, I'm just gonna preempt the content warning. Cause I'm getting the the feels for that. It was a rainy evening after school. Just like this one. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled, and she fell, and she died. You've all heard the stories, no? Before Kisaragi Academy was built here, there was another school on this property. Heavenly Host Elementary School, it was called. Such a horrible thing to happen. The principal was completely devastated. He cared for the school almost as if it were his own child, you see. But one thing led to another after the incident, and ultimately a decision was reached. The school was to be shut down. The principal was so stricken with grief over losing his precious child that on the day of its closure, 
He climbed up to its roof and threw himself to his death. Or so the story goes. Oh, okay. People thought Heavenly Host was cursed, you see. This was just the latest of many deaths to occur there. That's why it was torn down. However, they say the teacher who fell down the stairs still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. Ooh. And on rainy evenings like this, after our school days come to an end, some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds. Just after 7 o'clock. Oh, the text is <laughs> The text covered. She's got a very smug look on her face right now. Uh, it's Emma something, coffee scar strips, uh, back city, out of back city, yeah, don't worry, it's all good. Um, that's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock, you'll hear from the blackness, followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open as her pale white face cuts through the stillness. Her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... <coughs> it's a blackout. Toshi, put yourself together. Don't scare us like that. <laughs> but it was scary. <laughs> the only thing about Corpse Party I remember is the fact I watched it on YouTube. Definitely a tad bit too young for it. I've seen nothing of it except the occasional image online. And that was easily about dating back 12, 10, 12 years ago, probably more. For the longest time, I remember, I thought it was an anime. I don't like this. This should be happening. Not bad, Shinozaki. You had me going there for a minute. It wasn't me. I've been standing right here the whole time. This is a real blackout. Oh, shit. Does anyone else hear that? Sounds like it's coming from the music room. <laughs> Games and an anime expect quite a bit of gore. Yeah. Oh, so there was an anime. Game, then an anime, then a remake. Ah, I see. First the blackout, and now the door. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Get off me, that's my chest. <laughs> I couldn't see where I was going. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Welcome in, Terry. <laughs> How you doing today? I told you it was a bad idea to stay here so late and tell ghost stories. Hey, Satoshi, aren't you going to get the door? Yeah, hold on, the door that the ghost lady has just knocked upon? Oh, 
The guards are all trembling in fear. Doesn't it just break your heart to see them like that? Well, why don't you fucking open the door? Mr. fucking stoic and chill and nothing faces him. Mostly chilling. Nice, nice. How's you? I'm doing okay. Uh, kind of tired. A little bit hungover. Not, not bad, though. <laughs> yeah, so why don't you get the door? Well, it doesn't break my heart. Oh, so this fucker's just happy watching everybody shit themselves? That's cool, man. I have inventory. Backlog. Okay. I see. Um... Is this the door? The knocking is coming from the door at the front of the room. Oh. So there's uh, the door here. Nope. No, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. Fuck. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my That uh, five is five's one of those ones, whatever, like especially when I'm not expecting it. Did I scare you? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yui sensei. Miss Yui? Sensei! Oh, wait, this is the lights are fine now. She knows that! Wait, were they in on it? Call out a rising shit. They knew exactly what Holy shit. Yeah, we've been had. We've been had alright. Your timing couldn't have been more perfect. The seven wonders of Kisaragi High, I am well versed. Seven wonders? Satoshi. Those like seven ghost stories. Mochidaku, <laughs> the best reactions. I just love it when my scars are so thoroughly effective. It's simply delicious. Look at that smug bitch. Fucking scared us half to death. Who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Anyway. I can't deny your reaction was pretty amusing. Yeah, though, everybody got a laugh. Everybody get a laugh. Yeah, get your laughs in the While pranking the side, I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hallway who's come to see you. Uh -huh. Who is it? He's right here. Is it a dog? No. She said a, a cute individual. I was expecting like a lost puppy or something. Yuka? Who is Yuka? What are you doing here? Ah, okay. She's the she's she's the sister, right? Oh, uh, that's what she said. Oh, because we for dude forgot his umbrella, so she had to come all the way to bring him. Right. I just said fuck him and just let him walk home in the rain. <laughs> 
Chief from the junior high. 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 Chief from the I've never said a word. She's met Kishinuma before. Is that was oh, that the stork dude? The cool dude. Gotten yourself a rival, eh? Oh, I see. <laughs> this might of your size the craziest things. Shouldn't we clean up all the red bean cafe stuff first? Be shame to leave so soon. Red bean what? The classroom like this, it almost seems like we could hold another culture festival tomorrow. Oh, that's what a uh, red bean stuff is for. Yeah, he promised the room would be ready by the time I got here, as I recall. So we were meant to clean it, and we didn't. Hmm. Well, it's getting late. How about you leave it for now and come in early tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. No hard heart did sick. Bye. But I wish you the best of luck at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. We're, someone's leaving? Wait, what? No, we just... We just started... Hold on. You'll make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. On winter break, we'll all make sure to come visit. <laughs> what give it away? <laughs> Today's culture festival was her last day. You'll have a special place in my heart and always will. I don't think I've ever seen actual humans act the way anime characters do. My spirit will guide your path? Yeah, what? Oh, we're taking a photo? Grip photo, yep, here we go. Yeah, they just, you know, scarred me half to death and probably pissed myself in front of everybody, but yeah, they're good. Let's see the photo. Something I'd like to do with everyone? Uh huh? Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try it? It's called Sachiko Ever After. Who's Sachiko and what's with your paper doll? Is this another one of your occult things? Yeah, kind of. This as well. It's 
the charm I find on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends. Anyway, that's the gist of it. A charm? A mystical charm. Okay. I think Shinazaki had her charm. Had her a charm. Girls totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. I guess it can't hurt. Everybody's okay with it. Alright, we're ready to go. Everybody, gather in a circle around this paper of Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sachiko, we bag of you. Seven, eight, nine, yeah, repeat it nine times. Don't worry as you flub it a little, just make sure you don't stop part way through. You have to say it one more time for every person present, no more, no less, or the charm will fail. What happens if it fails, exactly? Seems a little sketchy to me. Failure is not an option, just give it all you've got. Alright. Everybody remember the charm? Sachiko, we bag of you. Nine times. Everybody sat at nine times. Oh shit, was I meant to say it? I didn't say it. Reach toward the paper doll and grab hold of it any way you can. Well, really th dig your nails into it. If you have to, just don't let go. Go on to pull until it rips into nine pieces. Not three, one, two, three. Keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it in your student ID folder or your wallet, basically anywhere it won't get lost. As long as you have a little piece of Sachiko with us, we'll always be connected with one another. As friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Oh. Okay. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. What was that? Earthquake? Aftershock? Oh no. Oh shit. Get onto your desk and throw passes. Fuck that shit. I'm getting out of here. Let me leave. Oh, what? Okay. 
because it's just a, a sprain in the leg. Okay. So Not at home, am I? I can't be. It's so dark I can barely see a thing. Is this the school? What's going on? What the hell is this place? Oh, fuck it. What's this? A loose board lying on the ground. Though scratched and banged up, it still seems to be fully intact. Not much worse for wear. Okay, so clear. I need something to interact with that. Oh, shit. Seiko. 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 Can I get her? Can't move the ch bitch. Move the chair. Fine, I'll go the long way. I'll go the really long way. Oh, I don't like this. Rusty bucket. Okay. Ankle's in pretty bad shape. Okay, she's still breathing. That's good. That's good. Is she okay? What are you, what's up? Yeah, don't you what's up me? I thought you were dead. Where, where are we? What's going on? If I, if I knew. If I know as much as you do, love. It ain't budging. Oh, the windows are fucking... I see. Windows are all closed shut. Yeah, so we're still in the school. But it's unnaturally dark. Oh, no. Are we in the elementary school that was here before the high school was built? We are, aren't we? Yep. Oh, okay. So, okay, so we're somehow back in time. The elementary school for Kisaragi Academy, the one that was shut down in the mall. Yep. Yeah, what is happening? I don't think it's where are we, I think it's when are we. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chatter. I'd become completely lightheaded, couldn't think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I kept telling myself, it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, but no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of all. I couldn't take it anymore, I had to say something, anything. Yeah, let's let's see if we can get out. Yeah, let's. There's gotta be like yeah, you check the windows, but there's gotta be a door or something. Is it even possible to leave the building? You know, if the windows won't budge, maybe if there is a door, the door won't either, but 
It's better than doing, you know, standing here, shaking like a leaf in the wind. I feel like I'm going to go all loony in here if we keep this up. First step is to leave the room. Yeah, the others have to be around somewhere, right? And if we can re re reunite with them, we'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. Yeah, that's implying that they, they're they here with us. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't be, but equally, I don't know why they would be. Yeah, it was probably delirious, to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could manage. Whoa, what? Use the ad to interact with any character and learn more about them. When you're done, exit the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. What? Okay, who's this? Satoshi Mochida, 17 year old student, Kisaragi Academy, senior high, class 29, fairly average but popular. Known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards others to make him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is consequently the only person whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. Also, we're a weird ass eyeball. Can I just play the game as an eyeball? Naomi Nakashima, 16 year old student in Kisaragi High, class 29. Classmate of Satoshi's since junior high, frequently greets Satoshi with, Oh, not you again. Having lost her father a few years back, that, that will come back to fucking scare us. Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to medical school. Saiko Shinohara, 16-year-old student, Kisaragi High, class 29, lives very close to Naomi and generally accompanies her to and from school each day. A free spirit, she often says or does things that take others by surprise, though she's e also easily forgiven due to her good nature and amiability. Her mother disappeared three years ago. Again, definitely not going to factor into the fucking scars at all, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves a head of the household. Psycho seems to regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Yuka Mochida, Satoshi's 14 year old sister. Though she's an 8th grader at Kisaragi Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much, much younger. In the Mochida household, Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding her chat like behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is, sometimes, sometimes get her into trouble. Sakataro Morishige, 16 year old student in Kisaragi High, class 29. He's been in the theater club with Mayu since middle school and developed a real closeness with her. He finds socializing with anyone else to be more trouble than it's worth, however, so he typically regards his other classmates with indifference. He takes great pride in his family heritage and reacts violently if anyone makes fun of his name. The only exception is the nickname Mayu's given him, Shig. Mayu Suzumoto, 16 year old student in Kisaragi High, 29, somehow looks much tannier than she actually is, possesses a big heart and bright personality, accepts anyone and everyone with open arms, never playing favorites, which has earned her nearly universal regard amongst her fellow students. Unfortunately, due to fam familial circumstances, this was Mayu's last day at Kisaragi High. She'll be moving shortly and transferring to a new school. 
Ayumi Shinozaki, a 17-year-old appointed representative of Kisaragi High Class 29, often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and revels in hearing them scream. It's generally believed she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask that had her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi's in its intensity. When faced with tr any truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear-induced state. Yoshiki Kishinuma, a 17-year-old student in 29, often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. With a tense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. And finally, Ms. Yui Shishido, a 23-year-old 11th grade English teacher at Kisaragi High, just started this semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impression. Although not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious and her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as teacher's assistant during homeroom for class 29 and really seems to have connected with the students there. That's our cast. Okay. Yeah, let's get going. <laughs> well, I wanted the. Uh, let's like, check this way. No. Something wrong with your leg. Yeah, well, uh, we sprained, sprained her ankle. Will you be okay? I can walk at least. I'm sure it'll heal on its own. Just don't push yourself. Yeah, I want to check this. Shelves are filled to overflowing with long black hairs. Nope. Uh uh. Oh, what are we waiting on? Another earthquake? Did it? Did it stop? This hallway looks totally different than it did before. The earthquake made more of the floor collapse. Maybe. Okay. Gap is relatively narrow. It seems crossable, but it's a little too wide to risk jumping. There's that bucket. Yellow congealed thing. Is this pee? What? 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 Yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. Though if I really had to go, what would I do? It's a last resort, but it's an option. I'm not... I'm not pissing in a bucket. Okay, there's no getting... Did I just go back in here? Okay, can we... Can the two of us lift this? Take it with it. Oh, I see. I get I I up I, I get it now and we can put that down across the uh across here. Yeah, use the loose board, it would support our weight. Try it or two risky, no try it. Can I take it back? Nope. Why can't I take it back? What's the candle for? I can swear I've seen it before. 
Oh, it's a save station. Okay. What is what is all this? Such tiny shoe the shoes. So this was an elementary school. All those mouths of fate don't come cheap. So yeah, she's the one that has a lot of siblings at home and no mom. High schooler and mom, all the one. <laughs> Yeah, one way or another, we'll get out of this. So these are shoes. I thought they were like apple cores or something. Right, is that crossable with the plank? No. Nope. Entranceway. The heavy door is firmly shut and seems unlikely or unwilling to open through any normal means. No good, it won't budge. Didn't feel like a give at all. In fact, I don't think we'll be able to force it open. <sighs> so close, yet so far. Gotta look for another way out. I can't. But that way? You can't. Can I look like, across there? At the window, maybe? Nope. The first floor is no good. Maybe there's an emergency exit on the second floor or something. We should head back up and see. I mean, that, that's what I was doing. I'm just gonna try to get into the habit of saving any time I pass a candle then. Okay, we can't go back that way. Oh, I can take the board back. Nice. Then I can use it up here. Classroom of some kind. What? What's wrong? Aren't those bones like people bones? Okay, I see it now. Yep, the skeleton in the corner. Yep. Why well, is there a dead person here? Yeah, can I can I inspect it? They really are somebody's bones. You two? Who's talking? You two are new victims, are you not? Oh, the skeleton's talking! Oh! A good ghost! Who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined just like you. It worries here. Yeah, what, what do you know about this place that we don't? This is a cursed, multi-dimensional nexus. Multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another, created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Okay, this is certainly took a turn. Closed space. Or perhaps, closed spaces. You and we as well are the unlucky victims of an inescapable abduction. Yeah, well, what do you mean by closed spaces? Seems you turn out the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. Everybody else is here too. Yeah, 
I do know the others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. Definitely in this school. However, you cannot meet the- what? Why the fuck not? Definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or bringing them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. There's no way out of here then. Brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they? And why have they taken us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All I know is, with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space, and that alone is a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. Ah, uh, blue person. Blue, blue person. <laughs> yep. Mm. Uh, yep. <laughs> no, I wasn't done. I wasn't done. I wanted to talk to the blue ghost. Also, someone was drawing on the chalkboard. What the hell was that? A child? Spirit? It did kind of- yeah, it was definitely a fucking ghost. There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. Yeah, so we both seen it. Yeah, no. Let's go back in and talk to the ghost. Of course, the, she's not here no more. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. Interesting. What's this say? No, it was... Someone was drawn on that as we were running out. It's just a picture, right? Okay, there was another door back this way, so I'll check this out before we go any further this way. Oh. If you die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just eternal pain. Why did I have to die like that? Key to some unknown lock. Classic key shape suggesting it's rather old. We feel the pain of death forever. Oh, there's literally. This is the only way I can go. Well, I got a key out of that. I see the the, the, the the viscera and I immediately don't want to go near it. <laughs> Screen also got a little darker that way. Wait. Yeah, we need another uh, wooden plank. Go up. But I have to go this way. It's dark and then there's this. 
Yeah, what is it? <gasps> and there's fly noises. It's horrifying. Is it just a, is it a corpse? Somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall. It's super Someone went splat against the wall. It's superhuman speed. It splattered everywhere. It smells so meaty. Oh, she gonna book. Where were they thrown from? Ah. Uh. Well, we know where this goes. Also, is this a door? The infirmary. Uh, it's locked, but not with any key that I currently have. Oh, is this a door? Science lab. Uh, the door seems like a model as if sculpted into the wall. No way of opening it. Right. Okay. Whoa! Who was that? There's another pest bucket. A little clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rusted bucket, completely crawling with maggots. Oh, bathrooms. Something's gonna be in one of these stalls. Okay, that one won't open. Okay, so there's something in this stall. What about these ones? What the fuck? What the fuck was that about? An actual voice or an auditory hallucination? It's not gonna do it again, is it? See, I knew me opening the door, I knew something was gonna happen. I just... I just didn't know what. I'll go check these ones again. Or rather, just the one that won't budge. No. Uh -huh. Do you have any of that ass medicine on you? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <coughs> Ass medicine? The smeary stuff? <laughs> My butt's been drier than a desert since we got it. What does that have to do with anything? Antibacterial cream? Thanks, I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it real good. What the f- Yay! Yeah, what is- Okay, I'm not gonna leave her alone. How did she get into the one that was locked? How did she manage to get into the one that was locked? Oh, so where did her fear go? Why did she just like, oh, yeah, second thought. Can I go put some cream on my ass? The fuck is that all about?
I don't want to leave without, without her with us. Yeah, hold on, that was... I don't know where that noise was. Yeah, the stall was locked. How did she manage to go get in? Yeah, no, hold, hold on. See, now it's locked again. Something's not adding up. We just fall down the stairs. Oh, it's because about the sprain in the leg. I see. Some place to sit down and rest. No, we. Fuck that. We need to get out of here. I take my wooden plank back. No. So where was where was she shouting from? Is this open yet? No. <laughs> I think I stepped in it. Ugh. Definitely somebody guts. Whatever the part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Like I just plopped my shoe in a juicy pile of dog poo. Ugh. Why'd she have to go into so much detail? I didn't know what that was. Several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Koito. I'm in classroom 5A, everybody's fine. Yuzaha, huh? come join us. Asuka. The mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lie sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death on the second floor. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID name tag attached to what's left of her uniform. No, um, name tag list. Yuzaha Mikami. Cause of death, a rib kid, smi rib kid smashed in with a blunt instrument. I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, is this the other side of... Ah, I see now. If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind by the many other victims who've died here. Many victims have left their thoughts, or even their dying messages, on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. Yeah, I've discovered. It hurts so much. Uh, why is that one covered in talismans? My head is splitting, it's unbearable. I can't take it, I can't take it, I can't take it. 
When we find use of his body, I saw a black shadow. But I didn't tell anyone about it, and now it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so so- The lower half of the deck is obscured by a thick layer, layer of dried blood. There are skeletal remains, skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here. Small enough to be a middle schooler. Looking closely, you can see a student ID name tag. Koito Fujiwara. And how did he die? Skull cracked open with a blunt instrument. Basement door, nailed shut. Definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Yeah. Classroom 4A. The wall, the door seems attached to the wall. Like a sculpture, it won't budge in the slightest. Is there anything on this side? No. Oh, but now the fucking the glowy thing he's there. Lamb. A crumpled note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koito. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. The skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in their skull are still sitting on the chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Asuka Kato. Skull cracked open with a blunt instrument. Could have guessed that. Oh. Someone else's thoughts echo in your head. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location, find the exact spot where it once stood, examine it thoroughly. And it jumps to the front. How do I make it so that one of it stays and the other one goes? I want the light. Okay. Yeah, at least I'm near sure it was there. But didn't do the Keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Okay, where is it? Okay, that's much easier to to find, I think. It's this little art cropping area. Well, except I have to do it the other side. Shit. Okay. I just gotta remember where that is. It was like here. Okay. 
Yeah, she got it. Turned out to be this. The infirmary key. Nice. Handwritten letter on the floor. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far and hope that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. Partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag this time. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of the hair scattered around the head, it's safe to say this was a female student. Oh, no name tag. Custodian's closet. Locked shut. An erratic noise within. Sounds like TV static. No thanks. No thanks. Okay, we're in the infirmary. Candle. Now what? There's a lamp on the desk, but it doesn't seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. A pair of scissors on one of the shelves, both its blades covered liberally with in blood. Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. They're surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Lie down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that. Always prefer nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. I'll take a look. What'd she find? A makeshift splint, some bandages, sprains a goner. I mean, who hasn't sprained their ankle before? <laughs> she fell asleep? <laughs> Slumberland for me. Yeah, what an oddball. We find Mochida. Have you thought about what you want to do with him? Huh? Yeah, what do you. What, 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 well, you know what they say. When two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say, it often leads to love. Sweet love. You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place, and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet.
でも一方で彼までこんなひどい目に遭ってなければよかったのにってここにいなければよかったのにって心配してるんだよねこれって母性みたいなもの軽い口調でよく見さっきから。ごっくりって何すまねえナオミさんの尻見てると生つばが It's just that when I see dad ass of yours I start to drool I'm sorry what? お姉ちゃんまたヨカちゃんの声聞こえたねナオミはもう少し休んでて心配だから私も行くよ<笑>大丈夫だよちょっと待って,て Oh are we splitting up for? <laughs> Just keep that ass parked on that bed. Got it. <laughs> yeah, what happened to everyone else? Oh shit. I can't save the candle no more. Little journal on the desk. Oh, and the door's locked now. There's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. But if it's not locked, why won't it open? Um, what was that? Um, what's happening? Scissors. Can I can I arm myself with the scissors? Something with a lamp, maybe. Oh, my head hurts so bad I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Candle. It's an old fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ice that it'll probably never see the light again. A box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them. Yep. Can I light the candle with the matches? Nope. Can I light the lamp with the matches? Nope. Then why the fuck do I have the matches? Uh, can I set fire to the door? The door is lattice with countless strands of black hair rooting it in bliss. Oh. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. I want to get the scissors. I use the scissors to cut her. It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling on a sheet of paper. The journal. Also, the lamps on night. What? The scissors are gone. Ah, uh, no, no, no. 
What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? No, 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 no. Try to mash the burner. That's what I've been saying. The flame wasn't strong enough. Black mist against the wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no question that this is a malevolent force. If this continues, death is inevitable. <laughs> Rubbing alcohol. Yep. How did I? Appearing on the journal that is, is being written by unseen hands. The letters are so misshapen and inconsistent, however, they are completely Ill Ill illegible. Fuck me. <laughs> Can you stop following me? Rubbing alcohol? Yeah, go for it. Rubbing alcohol plus the, the match was enough to burn it. Oh. Uh, I began to run as fast as my feet were carrying me. I was so out of sorts I didn't even know where I was running. I kept calling out Psycho's name over and over. Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if in a daze, unaware and unconcerned with my surroundings. When I regained my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Is that a corpse I've looked at before? Have I looked at this one? God will surely save me. A pile of haphazardly strewn human bones is heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID name tag can be seen jutting to one side. Sasha Shinonome. Rib cage smashed in with a blunt instrument. Oh, this is the, the toilets again. <sighs> Why are there shoes outside the stall? Ah. <gasps> uh um. Yep, let's just re up this again. Well, she's still alive? The noose around Psycho's neck is attached directly to the ceiling. There's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help her, just strangling her further. How do I... I can't go in there. Uh, the infirmary? So there has to be some- the bucket! The bucket! It's 
Yeah, I have to have the meat and the maggots. Did I... 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 Did I fuck up? With blank eyes, Psycho swung back and forth, slowly in her noose. All life had been drained from... completely drained from her face. Why? Child spirits, they're laughing at me. <laughs> Somehow or another, now we find herself with a large pair of sewing scissors in her hand. Her mouth was agape, and she was lowering the open scissors into them as if intending to swallow them whole. I can feel the scissor blades clanging against my molars. And I can hear it too. Um... Um... What, what? Did we lose? Oh fuck, we actually wrong end. End number two. Possessed by spirits, a severed own tongue with scissors. Christ. That certainly took a turn. Um, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> oh.
Okay. We're back. And actually, in fact, I'm gonna call there. Pretty short one for a spooky Sunday, but we got a ending out of it, and um, I don't want to go on any later tonight than, uh, well, not that I'd like, I, I would love to keep going later and later and play more and stream more tonight, but I gotta be up really early tomorrow morning, so I need to make sure I try to get some shut eye tonight. So I am going to call it there. Uh, very much appreciate anybody and everybody for checking out the stream, the VOD, whatever. Super, super appreciate it. Uh, Demon and Terry for popping in and saying hi. And anyone else that stopped by to lurk, very, very much appreciated. Um, we will be uh, putting this into rotation for next week's Spooky Sunday. For sure, for sure. We'll see if we can get more, more playthroughs, more endings, better endings. Don't forget to check out the Twitter and the Discord, community stuff, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.